So, what if I told you that the textures on these models are 95% assisted slash generated by AI? I will show you how I did it. First, we're going to need the Dream Textures plugin for Blender. Link is in the description. The web page will explain how to install depending on your system. Simply just follow the instructions. For me, it was Dream Textures for Windows. Download it and extract the raw file to reveal a zip file, but don't extract this file. In Blender, go on to Edit, then Preferences, Add-ons, and then Install, and then select the zip file. Once installed, hit the checkbox, and then click this arrow, and scroll down and download the Stable Diffusion. After you have done that, search Depth and install Stable Diffusion 2 Depth and you're all set. Make sure you have a model and that that model is unwrapped. Duplicate your model and rotate it to have a side view of your character's head. To get the best results, make sure the viewport is in orthographic and that it is square. Select Dream from the sidebar and make sure that the model is using Depth. I changed the prompt from Custom to Concept. In the subject, I typed Arnold Schwarzenegger. The subject type, I changed it to character. And in genre, I had custom and typed realistic. Now press the select all meshes button. Then the edit mode button. Go to face mode by pressing three on the keyboard and select all faces by pressing A on the keyboard. You can have a play with all different types of prompts and genres. You can actually be quite descriptive and get good results. Anyway, make sure you are showing material previews by selecting this button and make sure that bake is selected and simply hit the project to dream texture button. You won't ever get something that looks exactly like a specific person. The idea is to get a good result that looks like a cool character that perhaps resembles a certain person, but it won't ever be 100% accurate. Results can vary, but keep generating until you get something that you think looks best. I'm happy with how this character looks, but it's time to do some cleanup. Go to object mode, select both models and click object, clean up and remove unused material slots to remove all the failed generated materials. Then select file, clean up and select unused data blocks. Then delete the side model, save and reload the project. Now we just need to export the texture. So go to UV editing and select texture from the drop down then go to image and save as. Now we just need to apply this save texture to the model. Now go to material properties and change base color to use image texture. Change it from linear to closest to get the pixely look. Then select your save texture. Open the texture in your editor of choice and make changes to it. I cleaned up the seams and the head and added some pupils. I open the texture in a program called Color Quantizer to limit the colors and add dithering like many PS1 textures had. After a few more minor tweaks, this is the final result. Here is the unedited generated texture and here is the one that I modified. It looks like I made huge changes but I actually didn't. I adjusted colors slightly, tweaked the lighting, I also limited colors and added dither. I really didn't do much. Here are a few more examples on different types of objects. All in all, the whole process doesn't take long and it gives you the perfect base to work from, which saves a lot of time. So it turns out AI can be a helpful assistant when it comes to texturing. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. Quick shout out to my Patreon members. Ink Ribbon, Kevin, Emat of Asgard, Barely Functional, The PCX Box, Internet Rob, Angry Bear, Decades Apart Productions, Azroix, Pixel Pagos, and Tati Gum Cancer. Thanks for watching.